afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Hello. Professor. This is my opportunity to talk about my final presentation. And I'm really so grateful with uh, my Heavenly Father for all the opportunity that I have to be here in this um, teaching program. Uh, this is my final presentation, and I would like to, to show my overview about my plan. Uh, um, my name is Mary Zambrano, and I'm going to, to show my, my strategy is Big Tactile. Uh, for me, it's really useful, this strategy, because it helps the students to work in, in group, in pairs, in individual, and they can create interac interaction, and they can produce communication each other and support each other. And I would like to show my overview about my plan. And, and this is, oops. Um, okay, this is my lesson plan. And this is the PEXI. And I have 30, 30, 32 students in pre-production stage. In early production, I have six students and two students in speech emergency stage, and uh, zero students in intermediate fluency stage. Uh, I would like to show the... Um, oops, this is not mine. The critical theories that I choose uh, were communication approach, uh, biography driving instruction, filter hypothesis, grouping configuration, and ecology classroom. And I would like to, to, to show about this uh, grouping configuration because for me it's really important. As teachers, uh, we have big groups in our classrooms and it's necessary to, to divide by in groups uh, the students to, to create the comfortable um, ecology classroom to work with them. And they will feel um, self-confidence to work uh, with others and learn uh, each other's too. Uh, for me, it's really important grouping configuration because as teachers we can uh, work with the biography driving and we can uh, divide by all the, the groups and work together and support together because we have uh, different students that they have different levels and they can support each other when work in this in this way. Uh, this is the the grouping configuration that we can uh, work in our uh, in our classrooms in individual in total group pairs, um, small groups, and individual, again. And I'm going to show the content of the objective uh, for my class. Uh, this is the, the content. I would like that some of you, uh, could you help me with the content objective? OK, Karina, thank you. Content objective. Recognize the most basic prepositions of place and use them appropri appropriately. OK, thank you. Uh, it's really important that uh, we can uh, learn about this strategy. For me, it's really useful. And I, learn, I would like to share this uh, um, strategy with you and the meaningful knowledge that I got uh, during this, this um, teaching programs that I have. And I would like that start with my class and first I would like to divide by the class in, in groups. I have a colors, a small piece of paper that I would like that you choose and divide by in, in pairs and in groups. We are going to have four uh, students um, but at the beginning we are going to work in pairs. Okay, uh, choose a color and And you are going to 
look for your your group okay choose a color and look your group okay you have and join with your group okay Okay, now we are going to start in the, depending on the color that you have with a group, I'm going to, uh, you are going to have this strategy that, this is the pick tactile card that you are going to, to receive, okay? Okay, by the color pink, who has? Okay. Okay. This one. Okay. Pass. Okay. Then you need to work in in pairs. You have nine pieces of papers that you need yellow. to work yellow. Okay. And you have the orange. Orange. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Work in person this moment. Okay. I would like that you receive a song that you are going to sing, please. Okay. Get a song. Okay, the last time we were working with the pig tactile, and we are going to continue with this, the next part, okay? You have the words that you have the, the prediction, and we are going to look for if you have current uh, pictures in that, in, that, in that exercise that you did yesterday, okay? I would like to start with uh, a song. Everybody, you have a song, okay? And we are going to practice with these small glasses, okay? If you know the song, you are going to work in the pic tac tail, okay? Okay, please, get the small glass and you are going to sing with me, okay? Everybody needs to have the glass. And we are going to use the pic tac tail card when you learn the song, okay? Are you ready? Yeah. We are going to learn these prepositions. It's really easy. And you are going to use the pencil, okay? Ready? Yeah. Okay. We are going to start. I wrote this song. As you know, I like to learn. I like to write songs in English for children. Okay? Okay. I would like that start. <laughs> this is the song that we are going to learn. This is the lesson that you are going to learn. Prepositions are place, connect. Now, between now and pronouns. In, on, and there, next to, behind. In front, of, between, and about, show the picture, about, near, far, over, okay? We are going to memorize only the prepositions, okay? Repeat with me, in, in, on, under, next to, behind, in front of, between, above, Near, near, far, far over. over. Okay, ready to sing? Yes. Okay. In, on, under, next to, behind, in front of, between, above, near, far, over. That's nice. Okay. Do you have any problem with all of these prepositions? Do you understand the prepositions? Yes. Okay, now you are going to draw a picture 
in the part that you have, okay? Look at the, the pictures and you are going to wear in the part that you have during, during, in the middle you have middle. The same during, okay? You are going to draw a picture, please, about the word that you have in the picture, in the picture, okay? Draw the meaning or the, the, the picture about the, the word that you have in your picture card. In your big tactile picture, okay? Okay, draw. Okay, okay, work in pair and work together with the pictures that you learn about the prepositions, okay? <laughs> Okay. Okay, finish, please. We are going to wear in pairs and we are going to compare if your drawings were right, okay? We have in the picture, the first picture in, on, under, next to, behind, in front of, between, over. I would like that you check with your partner if your pictures are right, depending on the picture that you have in the book, okay? Okay, that's nice. Good job. Okay, now you are going to help me with your book. As you know, the preposition we are going to identify in our book, what is each preposition, okay? We are going to start with the first. Please, help me with the first. We have in the first, look at the, on the board, please. This is the book. Okay. What is the preposition in this? Next to the camera. The books are next to the camera. The second one? Oh, that's nice. The third? In front. In front of the bicycle. Okay, number four? Between. The bicycle is between the computer and the picture. That's nice. The following is? On the wall. Okay. I don't find. Okay. Behind. We have behind. Behind the bike. Okay. That's nice. And the clock? On the wall. On the wall. Okay. That's nice. We are going to finish with this and we are going to read the reading, okay? This is Camilo's bedroom. I would like that you help me with this reading. Please, someone of you. I want to read. Okay, thank you. Camilo's bedroom. Camilo is painting his bedroom, so he is a boy who likes sports so much. But his bedroom is a mess, so he has his things by wherever his books are next to the camera and his cell phone is on the books and the bike is between the computer and the picture. Thank you. In addition, his dog likes mm -hmm. resting in the box. Therefore, the clock is above the wall and the DVDs are next to the box. His television is under the table and the tennis balls are on the floor and the computer is on front of the bike. Therefore, the roller blades are in the backpack and the skateboard is under the chair. Okay, thank you. Okay, we are going, oops. We are going to, to finish with this part and I would like to show, um, this is my, my presentation about the class and I would like to talk about the pictactile. Okay, this is the strategy that then I, I choose. Uh, you work with a connection part 
and you have the real meaningful learning that you complete in this moment uh, through the, the sound and the pictures that you learn in, in that part. And you can use the following part in affirmation. You can uh, learn about the, the, you can share your, your examples. You need the, the prepositions and forming sentences. This is the, the grip that we have in the pictac tail to work and interact uh, each other in sharing the, the knowledge that you have. Okay? Uh, I would like to finish with my reflect knowledge uh, about this uh, critical concepts and this strategy were really so important for me. Uh, those uh, theories that I, I learned for me will be really useful because the students uh, will learn um, in cooperative uh, group in, in, in the classroom and I will create a beautiful, comfortable uh, environment uh, during the, the class with my students that they can uh, be self-confident and they can participate each other to to share their opinions, their ideas, and they can learn together in, in order to create communication in class. For me, uh, those theories are really important, and this strategy that I use uh, is really, really um, important for me because the students can work uh, in group, in pairs, individual, and, and they can uh, interact and in, they can learn uh, in a way they're really comfortable with others because they can uh, learn playing using the meaningful knowledge that they have during the class. Uh, this is my final presentation and uh, that's all. Thank you.